the famous first bite. Is this Taco Tuesday? Where is it? Taco Tuesday! Yeah. I'm back. And you know what day it is. You know what day it is. It's Taco Tuesday! And I saw somebody who still be using those taco kits for their Taco Tuesday party said something. Hmm. Look, if you went to college, you know just how important Taco sure. Tuesday is to the culture. And if I know you like how I know I know you, I know you used to that plain Jane ground beef, soft shell. Maybe you flexed a little bit, had the soft shells and the hard shells, all right? You know what I mean? I know how you like to do. Probably had the lettuce, tomato, sour cream. Everybody know the vibe. We done with that. Every Tuesday this month, Taco Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to turn your taco game up, all right? Starting today, we rocking with some short rib tacos. Real easy process. I'm not gonna talk too much about it. Let's go. All right, look, I got some short ribs here. Bone in. We want that bone because we want that flavor from that bone. Pause. All right. But when I said simple, I meant it. So all we gonna do for these is we got some avocado oil. You can use olive oil. This don't really do much other than it's just gonna make these seasoning stick on here. All right. So you want to just you can rub them all together. Look, you ain't got to get fancy. I got some sauce and some pepper. Some sauce and some pepper here. Flip them around. Make sure every part of it gets some seasoning. Ta-da. All right, now we have the stove with it. As you see, you see the smoke in the pan. The pan is on about medium high. And what we're going to do is we're going to braise these first. So the pan ain't ready. If you hear that sizzling sound when you put it in there, your pan's not hot enough. We're doing this. We want color. These are going to do most of the cooking in the oven. So we really just want color here. We're going to let each side get a little bit brown. Flip it around, add a couple more things in here, and this is going to be good as new. Good as new. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the inspiration behind the Taco Tuesday series, you say? Listen, when I moved to California about four years ago, I thought I liked tacos. And then I got to try some authentic Mexican street tacos. I fell in love, man. And then I will always see my East Coast followers back at home talking about, oh, I want some tacos, oh, I want some tacos. And all I can think is, you don't need no tacos. You don't need no tacos. So that's why I'm going to bring these fire tacos to you. These flavors of tacos is not even tacos I try in the restaurant. This is just my brain cooking. Come on, man. It's the wrist working. That's good color right there. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful right there. All right, now as we let that last side sear, I'm gonna add in a couple cloves of garlic, pressed. And I'm gonna add in a couple mm -hmm. onions. How you cut these onions does not really matter, okay? It does not really matter because we not really, we might not even eat these onions. We just want these flavors to be in here while they cook in the oven. That's going to do a lot for these. So we put some onions in there. We want to let this garlic get fragrant for a second. Then we move on to the next pot. And once that garlic gets nice and fragrant, my favorite part, we're going to add some red wine in. You don't got to go crazy. You don't got to get nothing expensive. I got a little menage pot. They call that the Lumin, Luminage. You got to say it from back here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Add some of that in there. And then after you pour some of that in there, treat yourself. Well, 
Alright, after that reduced down just a little bit, you still the smell in here. The smell. It's the smell. What how the chick said? It's the smell for me. Period. Alright. After you get that reduced down by about half, you're gonna put some beef stock in here. We're gonna get it ready for the oven. Okay. You don't wanna drown these. You wanna just have that liquid in there about halfway up. So now what we're gonna do, I got some aluminum foil. I'm gonna cover this up. I got the oven already preheated at 325. We're gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna say about three hours. Three hours. And I ain't in no rush. When I open this thing up, I'm gonna let the steam do its work. When I open this thing up, I want them to be fork tender pull apart because they're going straight into some tacos. Or, we doing taco vibes, but listen, you ain't gotta do tacos with this. This is gonna be beautifully flavored right here. So if you just want some short ribs, boom, here you go. But I'm gonna cover this up, three hours at least in the oven, and then we're gonna take it out and it's gonna be magnificent. All right, after three hours in the oven, let's see what we got. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's pretty. Let me move this up a little bit so y'all can check that out. Y'all see that bone? That's what we like to call falling off the bone, ladies and gentlemen. The bones are a dunny bun. <laughs> Look at that. This is just with a fork. That's bust down. Falling off the bone. You can pull it apart like that. It's not even time to try this though. Let's go make some tacos. So I got some corn tortillas that I fried on the stove on the bottom layer. Now we're gonna bring in some of this short rib. This thing was cooked perfect. And I cannot wait to eat it. Listen, I know you tired of them basic tacos. I know you tired of that. Make sure you do this. I will not lead you astray. I got here some smoked good gouda cheese just to complement this vibe we got going on. We're gonna top it with some onions. Can't forget the cilantro. I want to bring some more of this juice back in here too. Some of that short rib juice. Ooh. Ooh. Check me out though. This is how you taco Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. Check me out though. Now we gotta taste it. All right, it's the moment of truth. Thanks for sticking with me through this whole process. I hope you learned something new. Make sure you try these short rib tacos. I told you it was gonna be simple. I told you it was gonna be easy to follow. I know I ain't lose you. Check it out. You can see the cheese, the cilantro, the whole vibe. Now for the famous, the famous first bite. That's all we got. See you next Tuesday.